Hello and good morning from me. Even if it's not morning where you are, it's morning for me. So yesterday I had this idea of that I want in painting on Quinn. And I was considering the best way to do this. We have this awesome Quinn edit model. We can just use this for end painting. It works very well. The main difference though is that we won't have an actual mask. So we need a way to mask. Let's just do it with green screen. So I went ahead and I trained one up. The idea is you can take your normal image you can paint it with this bright green color. This is not a natural color. You're not gonna see this much. Same reason they use green screen. This super lime green, pure green color doesn't show up much. So you can basically draw on this with green, type in your prompt, and boom, you get the picture. And these are actual results. So let's go take a look at the training. Now this isn't a tutorial video, guys. If you're looking for a tutorial of how to do this, I'll post the link here. If that didn't work, it's in the description. I'm not a YouTuber, I don't know how that works. Before we get into the sampling, let's look at my images that I have for my samples. Basically, I was gonna give this man a beard, give this guy blue jeans, uh, the distracted boyfriend me, draw a robot, give him a rainbow beanie, give him a faux hawk, give her a lightsaber, uh, have a woman sitting on a cliff, a man riding a motorcycle, a friendly Yeti uh, that's white, and put sunglasses on the cat, which you've already seen. So we can come over here to samples. You can see how the training process basically took. Some of the early ones, you know, I didn't know. It even changed the guy's face. You can tell it fixed that real quick. But here it started out differently on step zero. And it had the green starting out. Most of these, it actually didn't do the green. But it also didn't keep, you know, the actual image intact at all. You know, that doesn't look anything like Gene Wilder. Uh, that doesn't look like my dad. Um... The painting's different. Everything's different here, right? And as it trained, we'll just show you the cat one. Uh, as it goes through, it starts to fill out pretty quickly until we have what we ended up with. You can tell when we scroll down here, so all of these, you know, now we have the Yeti. Now we have a guy riding a motorcycle. We have a woman sitting in the Starry Night painting. Woman holding a lightsaber. My dad with an awesome faux hawk. <laughs> And Gene Wilder wearing a beanie. Anyway, it works very good. This one didn't work great. You know, it needs to be blurred. It didn't under, you know, how's it going to know? Uh, guy's blue jeans, guy's a beard. It works phenomenally well. And I think it works good enough to just call this general in painting. You can tell on this one, it kind of started doing the green again. I don't know why, because it didn't do it for a long time. You go up the steps. I mean, once it kind of figured it out, all of a sudden it had green again. But none of the other ones did that. But anyway, I'm going to pop into Overview. Let's download this checkpoint. I'm going to get it loaded up in the Comfy. And let's toy around with it a little bit. I already have the Mona Lisa pulled up. Let me do one from scratch so you can see how it works. So we'll do the woman with the pearl earring. Famous painting. So you can right click right here. You can go to Open in Mask Editor, Image Canvas. Select our color. Remember, we're doing pure green. So we want this 255 and this zero. So that'll give us that lime green color. Perfect. And we want to come, be sure you're not doing the mask option. Click on the paint option. So remember, we're not doing an actual mask. All we're doing is drawing. It's gonna replace whatever the lime green area is. That's how we trained it. Our entire data set was just images with lime green with descriptions. So we'll click save. So now we just have a lime green image on the part we want to do. Just kind of like a faux green screen. We'll do painting of a woman wearing a homemade beanie that is pink and brown. You could tell at first when it was doing it, it knows this painting. So it recognizes it. We need to do a different painting or a different thing entirely, but it works. It did fill in some hair down here, but that's to be expected. All right, let's do this one at Albert Einstein. We'll open a mask editor. I gotta change the color every time. Click on the paintbrush, that's important. We'll come through, we'll leave all that alone. I'm just gonna do that. Photo of a man 
with a big white beard. All right. So yeah, that's Albert Einstein with a big white beard. Okay, let's see. Let's edit this again. Clear it. Photo of Santa Claus. So here, here's Santa Claus. It even added the hat, even though we didn't mask for that, but it kind of it didn't do it perfectly. But still, okay, so now we have Albert Einstein coming in as Santa Claus. He's coming to bring physics to all the boys and girls. All right, let's do this. Image canvas. Can I change the color again? Painting of a man and a woman. The woman is taking a selfie and making a duck face pose with a peace sign. <laughs> okay. Uh, that didn't work great, but you know, there it is. Hey, let's change this up. Painting of a man holding a lightsaber. Let's do it a yellow lightsaber. So yeah, he's got his yellow lightsaber here. It did extend beyond what we actually colored, but it's kind of, you know, I mean, that's that's better in my opinion. Painting of a man that is bald, high detail, brush strokes. <laughs> that did not work at all. Uh, okay. That, yep, yeah, there it is. He's bald. He's wearing a bald cap. Photo of a man wearing a fedora. Oh yeah, that one's great. This is my dad, by the way. I like how it even matches like the choppiness of the image. That is bald with a mullet. Okay. I mean, that's what I asked for. That's what I asked for. It's perfect. He's bald with a mullet and he has a little little mohawk stripe. Oh uh, yeah. I gotta send that to him. That's it for me. So that's the new Quinn image in painting Laura. I'll post a link in the description. You can go check it out. You can download it. You can do it for yourself. It uses pretty much the default comfy workflow, but I showed you how you can add the green part that you want to impaint. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you appreciate this or the lore or my content. Or if you want to support my work even further, go over to ostrus.com forward slash support. Here you can see different ways that you can help support me financially. And you can also see all these wonderful people that help support my work currently. That's it, guys. I'm not going to go much longer because it's a short video. And I will see you next time.